What about the underground possible aquifers that might still retain liquid water? I don't know what would keep them liquid, but no one is is denying the likelihood that there could be water deposits uh, beneath the surface. You know, almost surely somewhere underground on Mars, there's liquid water because we know there's water ice. And we know that as you go into the interior of a planet, of, of any planet, it gets warmer and warmer because of basic thermal physics. So at some point on Mars, there's a place that's warm and wet enough. So there's an aquifer. I think that's very likely. The question is, would that have the, you know, the, the energy and the nutrients and all the other stuff you'd need for life? And could life exist over billions of years in one little, you know, isolated outpost if it's not a sort of robust planetary biosphere like you have on Earth? That makes me skeptical, but I can't, I certainly can't say I know there's no life on Mars, and I think that we need to search for it. Okay, so since this is basically bacterial excrement, uh, can we expect to possibly extract DNA from it, or is that out of the question? I would say uh, that's unlikely because, I mean, imagine that this was an earth rock that was billions of years old, and you were finding the same kind of mineral trace of life. The fact, the idea of there being sort of intact genetic material that had survived, especially in, a, in a, an environment like, you know, Mars is being bathed in this cosmic radiation. So I would say, uh, you know. And lethal I, ultraviolet, yeah. The idea of, you know, sort of creating a Jurassic Mars Park out of, <laughs> out of this stuff seems <laughs> unlikely. <laughs>